Here's a new update video for the TubeAtlas software. I just want to go over some of the new things I've integrated since um, 1013. The current version at the time of recording this video is 1016, which I just uploaded to the internet. So what I'm going to do is kind of go through some of the stuff I fixed and some of the new features I've added. I do plan on creating extra videos to show some of these new features, but for now I'm just going to do it in this update video. So let's start down here. I had to fix some issues with the video to text tool where it was taking a long time to process. It was because I added those new things in here. So we stick a video in there. So for example, one I just found on YouTube and click here. So the stuff down here, the readability score and all that kind of stuff, um, that actually takes a lot of processing in the background. And I, I kind of did it a little bit incorrectly where it was processing it more than one time. Anyway, I fixed that, so now it's lightning fast. So that was one thing I had to fix. There's a bunch of other little minor things I kind of fixed that uh, you might not have noticed, but one I did really do here is increase the extraction speed of the browse and extract tool. This was taking a long time and I finally figured out why. Um, if you go into the browser and let's say you go to uh, YouTube and you search something here, let's say DIY or something like that, and go along here and you do your auto scroll to bring up a bunch of videos in this integrated um, web browser and so usually when you get a whole bunch in here like say if you go over 10 scrolls or you know say 20 or something there's gonna be a lot of data in here and it takes a while to process but I, I used um, something called regular expressions which was lightning fast so now if you do it extract video links you can see it's like almost instant usually it would take like up to an entire minute there was literally less than two seconds so it's really fast now so that's a cool feature I've you know, basically a cool thing I fixed so let's move on to some of the new stuff I added so in 1.4 I added the um, again I improved the video to text um, by actually not limiting it to English so I actually didn't even know I was doing that to be honest but if you go into video to text now let's clear this out the one we just had in there Here's a video I found that's in German. So if you try this, it will now extract the default captions in the default language. So that was something uh, customers were asking for. So that's cool. So that's fixed in there as well. Another thing I did, I added get related videos. So you know when you go to uh, YouTube, let's just bring up, I have one here and I searched for make money online you'll see all these videos along the, the right here these are kind of like related videos to this one and so I figured out how to extract those so here's how I did it so when you go in here to the videos tool and you do your search so I'll just do the first page of YouTube and search for um, how about just online marketing go ahead and extract those and you can see up here the new button get related videos so if I go to select some of these what it's going to do is going to go in there and get the related videos for each now please note that sometimes they can pull back like 20 or 30 related videos for each one of these videos so let's go ahead and just click once you do that you have to select the check boxes for the videos that you want to get related videos for then you click get related videos now it goes out there and it found 45 related videos for those three selected. And what's happening here, it just adds it down to the bottom of the grid. And you will see the source will be set to related. So you know that these are related to another video. And you can see here, we can get all the usual data. So I'll just stop that there, get the point. So all the data is coming down like usual. So that's how you get the get related videos. And the next one I did was the unlisted videos. So people are asking for unlisted videos. So I did some research around the internet and I was able to find somewhere where I can get unlisted videos. And I believe it's unlistedvideos.com here. So I figured out a way to get the videos from there when you search and pull them into the software. So let's just clear this all out here. And so what I did is I added a new checkbox right here. So when you click it, so the way this works is all this other stuff is grayed out. You can see it's disabled because this will be the only thing that's going to be happening when you select that. 
So when you select this, and I wanna search for online marketing, now please note that not all unlisted videos on YouTube are found on unlisted.com. I think if you go to all videos here, it says they have 600,000. And I believe these are user submitted videos. So when someone, someone comes here and actually submits a video that's unlisted. So not everything is there, but there is a lot. So what you wanna do, is when you're searching here, try not to use really long tail keywords, like maximum one or two keywords and you'll get some results. So let's just do online marketing and see what we get. And I'll search the first five pages. So it goes through and finds through five pages and it found seven videos. So, but if I go just marketing and do that same thing, you see it found 50. So if you stick to like one word, or instead of two or three words, you might find more from the unlistedvideos.com. But this will give you an idea of unlisted videos and, and a lot of customers have been asking for this. So this was the source that I could find to integrate into the software. Now into the next feature I integrated, which is the get video ads. Those are also mostly unlisted as well because they're ads. So. That's how you get the unlisted videos by using here. So let's clear that out and we'll go to the next point here. So I added the get with it un, sorry, unlisted videos. I fixed an issue with the um, trends tool not working on a Mac computer. So I fixed that in, in that version. In the version I uploaded today, I added the get video ads. So this is pretty exciting. So now what I've done here is you, if you go, let's just go marketing. It goes through here. Let's just get some videos here. And what we can do now is when you go to an actual video, you see right now there's an ad playing. There's an ad playing for Shopify that's inside there. That is a video ad. So I'm not referring to the little kind of pop-up ads that show up with banners and things like that. And, and sometimes you get a banner here. So this is just video. So video ads that are within the video you're watching. So I figured out a way to extract them. And usually there's only about a maximum of two, maybe three video ads per video from what I've seen so far. But what you wanna do is you wanna select the videos that you would like to see if there's any video ads inside and you click the get video ads. And if there are any videos, it will find them. It found two and it will add them at the bottom and you'll see that it's a video ad. So now you've got access to all the information about that ad. So how many views, where is it? There we go. I mean, that one got 13 million views. So those guys are really promoting that. That's probably the Shopify one. If we just take a look here. No, that's monday.com. So, I mean, that got 13 million views. They're definitely spending a lot of money on advertising. So. It gives you an idea to kind of look at video ads. So that was another requested feature that people really wanted. Now note, um, this, these video ads, when they come in here, um, if this ID has, is already present somewhere in here that showed up in the search or something like that, it won't come again. So it's, all these are always unique. But anyhow, and you'll notice that sometimes you'll see over here, it says ads found and it may say yes, and you go to get the video ad, and it might not, it might not show up. Oh, it found it found some there, but sometimes it might not. Oh, there, actually, there was a bunch selected. So if you go get video ad, and it did find one actually. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is, if, if it says yes here, ads were found, um, and you go to click get video ad, and it says didn't find any ads, just, just try doing it again because the ads will be refreshed all the time in that video. So sometimes it might take. Uh, a bit of hitting that button to get some ads, but that's how we can get video ads from inside the videos. So that was another feature I integrated recently. So that's it for this video. I just wanna talk about some of the new features that I've integrated based on everyone's feedback. Thanks again for everyone getting in contact with me and giving me these awesome ideas. Keep them coming, I'll keep putting into the software and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Mm -hmm.